up for sale is my 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. My grandmother bought this new. I've had it for the last year and a half. It was a little tired when I got it. I put new tires on it. The complete ignition tune up, flush the radiator, changed out the belt and tensioner, put a new muffler on it. Those new tires were hard to find. Try finding white walls and 15 inch rims. Hard to get them. This car is super nice. Grandma always had a little truck that she mostly drove in the winter whenever she's going to get it dirty. So this one was in a heated garage this whole life. Still is. I have a heated garage. It's not perfect, but man, is it nice. No rust on the body. No rust on the doors. Got a few dings and dents. Down here, there's one in that little chrome piece. There's a little crease in this one. You gotta see it. If you get the light just right. There's a dent up here. In this plastic piece. A couple tiny dings if you see it just right. And the bumper right there. The light just right. There they are, maybe. A uh, little piece of plastic broken out of trim around the light there. Put new wiper blades and and arms because the arms were the black was coming off. Those nice little beat up right here. She rubbed it against something. Um, so all that chrome's in good shape. Tops in great shape. Uh, a little pitting on the uh, tail lights. The chrome around the tail lights. Nothing crazy. It seems like there was a dent in the bump or two here. No, maybe I was dreaming. Let's see it now. Uh, the power antenna does not go up and down on its own. Just pull it up when we want to use it. Push it down when you're done. Uh, the interior, really nice. Got the original floor mats and they're in great shape. Leather. Just super sweet. I don't know if you can see in that light, but no rust in the doors. Uh, I'll show you the driver's side. Hood arm is in good shape. Oops, got my towel in there. Keep it clean. All that works. Look at that original floor mat in just perfect shape you know no rips no tears i think it's just perfect put a new muffler on it put a new throttle position sensor on it miles for here 122, 131, and that'll go up a little because I still drive it a little bit. Just super nice. Up the hood. Oh, and a trunk. Look at this trunk. You store a lot of dead bodies in that trunk. If you wanted to, better put some plastic down first so you keep it all perfect like this. That's a full-size spare on a matching rim, so if you happen to curb check a rim, that's another one just like the other ones on the car. Pretty nice. like this feature. And just set it down and it closes it. Kind of fun. Uh, pop the hood. Yeah, I can do this. Let me set the camera down. Try to pull that latch. Well, I might have hit the brake. There we go. Aha. Eh, I probably should have washed this, but you get the idea. No leaks, doesn't leave any spots on the floor or anything. I did flush the tire cooling system, new belt. New tensioner, new idler pulley, just because it's old. 
uh, put a whole new addition in it, like plugs, wires, kept all the loom, didn't crack any of the wire separators, cap, rotor, even put a new ignition module in it, new air cleaner. What else did I do? Throttle position sensor. It wasn't running bad, it wasn't even coding, but you couldn't reset the the trip or the uh, oil. Set. It, it keeps track of miles for the oil. In order to reset it, you have to uh, press the accelerator all the floor, and it wasn't reading max voltage, so I changed the TPS. So that'll give you a little better gas miles to make it run, keep it running good. Battery's in great shape. It's super nice. I drive this car, no worries. I, uh, I drive it, I've driven it to Indy twice, from Peoria, Illinois, driven to Chicago. Never worried about it. New muffler, she's quiet. Rides like a dream. When Beecher's put new tires on it, they uh, did the alignment check. And it came out dead nuts, so that means your ball joints and tie rods and all wheel bearings are all in good shape. Room in there. Yeah, it's nice. It ain't perfect, but I bet it's the nicest $5,000 car you'll buy. So I'd tell you everything I know about it. Yeah, I listed it for a little more than five, but you're such a good negotiator. You asked me, will you take any less for it? Yeah, I'll take less. I'll take $5,000 cash, not a penny less. You will be a happy Cadillac owner. She is a beaut. I mean, I, I'm showing you all the dings and dents, so you're not surprised when you come see it. Sometimes pictures make vehicles look better than they are. This one shines up real nice. Nobody notices those dents and things like that. The guy who waxes it and dries it, right? All right. Cars do suck, but not so bad when it's a Cadillac.